Today, I am cooking for some very, very special guests. These guests are so special that I'm attempting to cook the most delicious meal in the history of meals that have been cooked by a cookerman or even a chef tomatrist. I present to you the dish of all dishes. Pizza rolls cooked in a dirty microwave. Oh, I'm getting a call. Excuse me. It's my friend, Jeff. He's a real chef. Hey, Jeff. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I did just cook pizza rolls in a dirty microwave. How did you know that? Huh? Yeah. I, yeah well, yeah, I, I am. I, I'm having special guests over later today. That's why I'm cooking. Oh, you want to help me? I mean, yeah, that would be great if you could help me, like what to cook and how to decorate and all that kind of stuff, would be amazing. I, oh, you gotta walk your dog? Yeah, do your thing. Okay, hold on a second, hold on. This is amazing, Chef Jeff is gonna help me prepare for my special guests that are coming over later tonight. What I need you to do first is turn in your Bibles to 2 Samuel chapter nine and get ready to discover a story about kindness and inviting someone to eat around your table. I'm Joel, he's Chef Jeff, this is Explore the Bible on Location, and oh, hey Chef Jeff, I had an idea. What if we served for an appetizer some frozen waffles cooked in a rusty toaster? Oh, you don't want any more suggestions from me forever. Okay, 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 bye. <laughs> uh, I need to clean that microwave. That smells like toes. Remember the godly friendship between Jonathan and King David? They not only committed to be kind to each other, but they also committed to be kind to each other's families. Sadly, Jonathan was killed in a battle. And after David became king, he continued to remember his promise to show kindness to Jonathan's family. David learned that Jonathan had a son named Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth could not walk. This likely meant he could not have a job to provide for himself. After learning of these things, David had a really good idea for how to be kind to Jonathan's son. God is honored when we are kind to others. All righty, my peoples. I have some very special guests coming over later, and I've got Chef Jeff on the phone. He's gonna help me decorate and make sure I've got this amazing meal prepared for my guests. He's an expert when it comes to creating fine dining experiences. Chef Jeff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me tell you what I got for decor. So I got these plates and they got cupcakes on them because I love cupcakes. I got uh, polka dot napkins, I got centerpieces with stars, multicolored plastic cups, I got some black balloons, and, 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 and I got those forks where you could see your friends when you look right through them. Yeah, yeah, no, they're all my favorite things. What do you think? How honored do you think my guests are gonna be? <laughs> oh, what? The... You want me to find the best plates we have in the house? Not the cupcake plates? The best plates we've got? Okay. And the best silverware? And glasses? And napkins? Okay, yeah. Okay, give me just a second and I'll find it. This looks awesome! Okay, let me send Chef Jeff a picture. Let's see what he says. Oh, oh, he likes it. Okay, oh, he's calling me. Hold on. Uh, yep, yeah, what do you think? Pretty good? Yeah, I mean, this is the best stuff I've got in the house. Does it, it look okay? All right, whew, thanks for your help. Um, are, are we ready to cook? We are? All right, you're gonna help me, right? Okay, yeah, all right, let's do this. All right, and the spices. Okay, Chef Jeff. I've got the spices out. Yep, this is kind of what I've got. 
So what are we gonna make? <laughs> hey, you know what I was thinking? Maybe we could still do the pizza bites and the toaster waffles. I feel like it could fit into, no? Okay, you're probably right. Uh, what are we making? I, I never heard of that. Ch chicken, chicken parmesan and linguine alfredo. That sounds delicious. I don't know what that is. Are you gonna help me? Okay, good. What do I do first? Okay, get the flour ready. You got it. All right. God is glorified when we show kindness to others. And that's what King David did for Mephibosheth. Remember, Mephibosheth could not walk. He probably couldn't have a job or make money. And people probably looked down upon him. You might think a fancy king like David would ignore Mephibosheth. But David remembered his promise to Jonathan. King David restored King Saul's land to Mephibosheth, found servants and farmers to care for the land, gave Mephibosheth money to care for himself, and invited Mephibosheth to eat, you guessed it, at the king's table. God was honored by David keeping his promise and showing kindness to others. We did it! <laughs> We cooked it. <laughs> we made the, uh, uh, we made the, um, I don't remember what it's called. <clears throat> Chef Jeff calls it a chicken parmigiana with linguine alfredo. Smells amazing. And uh, my friends, special guests, uh, should be here any minute. I, I wanted to show them kindness by, by cooking them a meal and, and setting the table. And guess what? You guys can show kindness too. You could help your families cook a meal like this or, or you could show kindness to a neighbor by helping them with some yard work or pet sitting. You can show kindness at your church by, by serving and, and being a welcoming and good friend. Honoring God through showing kindness is what we discover when we dig in to the book of 2 Samuel. I'm Joel, special thanks to Chef Jeff, and this is Explore the Bible on Location. I still think these plates would look great with some pizza bites on them. Thoughts? You're right, Chef Jeff would not approve. But also, my guests are here. Okay, I gotta go. Coming, I'm coming.